Well, good morning, magandang umaka, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today we have an exciting episode. We are starting day one. Yes, day one of a new home built series. We got some neighbors just down the street that have a very exciting house plan. Let's go ahead and take a walk on over to the house site and get started with today's episode. Now, without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now I'm gonna kind of show you the proximity of our house, which is right up here at the top of the hill. You go down to the bottom of the hill here, and then you go back up the hill back up here. And this is the lot that we're going to be featuring today. Uh, we presented this property in an earlier video, and I gotta tell you, uh, for me, I will say that in this entire subdivision, this is my favorite lot in the entire subdivision. Had I known about this lot when we purchased our property, we would have probably bought, well, I know we would have bought this lot up here, mainly because of its privacy, its elevation, and its proximity to the edge of the, of the subdivision and the most quiet part of the subdivision. You'll see that in just a moment when we do a drone overview. Now this lot being at the end, and it's not really a cul-de-sac, it's just an end uh, lot. This is the perimeter wall here. And it goes to the back, it goes along the back there, it goes along there. So this whole lot is pretty much as, about as private as you can get inside the subdivision. And it's owned by my good friends, uh, Scott and Mara Schuler. Uh, they actually live in Saipan. We've had them on maybe one or two of our videos when we had visitors to Villa Feliz. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the lot itself. Now, this is sort of a quiet groundbreaking. It's going on here today. Sometimes there is a ceremonial event where they'll come out and they'll drop some lucky coins or something like that in a time capsule down inside the ground. But here, it's just, it's just very quiet, which is kind of what the, the nice trait one of the pros of this property is because of its location here in the very corner. And what makes this, this design of this house so very interesting is the fact that it's very similar in architectural style to our Canadian neighbors build across the street. And a lot of you followed that uh, with enthusiasm as we uh, went through all the phases of that build. And it's very similar also to the fact that this is the main portion of the house right here and the rear portion of the house with the big drop down into the garden area and the very back of the house, this is going to be an infinity pool with a very nice lanai patio deck on the back of the house that's all sheltered and covered. Uh, we'll show that in a 3D movie type of a CAD here during this episode as we normally do in the first breaking episode of each one of our new home build series. I'm now standing in the center of the main house unit. When I say the main house unit, you say, well, what do you mean the main house? Is there more than meets the eyes? Well, there actually is because though this is the perimeter, this will be the beam, the floor beam that goes around for the main house, there's also going to be a secondary unit on here. There's gonna be an auxiliary, sort of like a caretaker's building, uh, caretakers or our, our guest facility, and that's gonna be built over in this area where you see some of the lumber that's left uh, after the clearing of the lot here. So this is going to be two main buildings, also with a, uh, again, with the infinity pool that hangs off the back of this property. Now I want to walk back here and I want to show you, and this is what uh, caught my attention the very first time I had an opportunity to look at this property. I want you to see, it, it's a little bit of a drop down right here. It's a tiered drop down. There can be a little bit of a retaining wall back here, but this was, was what I said in the original property overview is the privacy of this private garden area that's gonna be back here. Uh, imagine maybe something like a pavilion or a kubo or a gazebo that's inside the back back here from the 
swimming pool area and the main house in the very front. And you can see it's very private here and then it drops down. You're not gonna get any more privacy anywhere in the subdivision than you're gonna get on this property right here. And I want you to look at the view. Uh, can you imagine being inside the main house with the deck back here in the swimming pool? And then the view you're gonna have, the, I see a carabao over inside the field over in the back area right there. And again, there's no building back here so far, uh, so it's going to be very nice and quiet, and this would be the perfect place in the early morning hours to sit here and have your coffee and enjoy the peace and quiet and listen to the sounds of nature back here in your own backyard. Now, one of the preliminary things that's probably one of the most difficult at the very beginning of a build is pulling up stumps. Now, these are mahogany trees back here. Well, actually, this one looks like Nara. And uh, pulling up the stumps requires a lot of effort, a lot of, a lot of sweat. And that's what these guys are doing because they're doing it manually right here. And you'll find that's kind of a traditional way of doing things here inside the Philippines. Or maybe if you were someplace like in North America or in Europe, they would bring some heavy digging equipment to pull these items out. Uh, but to be able to uh, preserve some of the income for some of the workers here, uh, they do it a little bit slower, but it also brings in some money for the families who are the workers to these builds. Now here you can see I'm down in the lower section right next to the perimeter fence on the back. And this would be the courtyard, the garden area right back here. And it's going to make a great area for relaxing quietness, uh, for planting flowers and trees, and enjoying, enjoying what makes up some of the best attributes here inside the Philippines. Anyway, you can see it's not a huge drop off back here, so it's going to be very easy to navigate and to be able to do any type of retaining wall, whether it's a tiered level, they do one wall back here. I don't know what the final plan is. And maybe it shows it on the 3D CAD movie. We're gonna take a look at that after we uh, do a final overview of the property back here. Now, Scott and Mara, I gotta tell you, standing back here in the lower garden area, uh, you are going to really appreciate this area, especially being shaded in by some of these, some of these mahogany trees that are here in the backyard. I will tell you from standing on your lot, in the middle of the lot, in the middle of the sun, and then walking down back here, it's at least five degrees C cooler down here in this area than it is in the area that's not shaded. So you're going to really enjoy the garden area in the back. It's going to be a great place to relax and to uh, enjoy your morning coffee, enjoy your afternoon break, as well as your evening when you get done with your evening swim in the swimming pool. All right, well, let's head back over to Villa Feliz. And what I want to do, I want to get the, the video out, the video that shows the architectural design, the site development plan for this house, uh, caretaker's dwelling, uh, swimming pool, and what it's going to look like, hopefully, when this project is completed.
Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're going to continue to do updates on NetBuild as it's so conveniently uh, located close to Villa Feliz here. So it's just a walk down the hill, a little walk up the hill, and we're there. Uh, we'll be covering that very similar to the way we did the coverage over at our friends, our Canadian friends right across the street. Uh, maybe we actually will be doing a little bit more into detail on this build right here since we're kind of reporting back to the owners of the property as they are not able to be physically located right here with the build. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode, these kind of episodes on the new home build series. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on the little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified if you ring that bell the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, right here in the very beautiful Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>